Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're getting food. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Not in real life, but in game, son. We already got food in real life. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Such a long, dramatic hallway. Yeah, it is. <coughs> What's to the left again out here? <coughs> What's there? Uh, it just leads back into the core. Okay. Behind the Actually, door, I should be there to the elevator. <laughs> Pelvic thrust in. You no, know you like it. Maybe. Okay. That's how the mood completely changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the star fate? Oh. Nah, the, the Glamburger heals us all the way. Yeah, alright, we're ready for a boss fight. How many Glamburgers did we just get? Four? Or three? Um, I don't remember. Three. Okay, let's drop those ballet shoes. Let's get another one. I don't think we have enough money. If we don't... We only have 80. Okay, let's buy the star fate. It's very nothing. Yeah. We're gonna need all the food we can get. Cool. How bad is the boss? I thought he wasn't gonna fight us. Well, maybe he won't. Then why am I stocking up on food? Because you never know what could happen. <coughs> you know what happens. Why are you telling I, me to, I do know what happens. Then why are you telling me to stock up on food? Well, it's good to have food on your adventure. <laughs> Don't appreciate the, the lack of info. <laughs> ah, the ghost. The ghost angle. Victory lap. Here we go. <laughs> victory lap. I'm kidding. Just high five Papyrus while you're doing that, like on the way there. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so there's going to be an Easter egg. And what I want you to do, and for the viewers at home who don't know this, um, actually, I'm going to wait on that for when right. it actually happens. Are you ready? Yeah. But it will require us to quit out of the game a few times. Okay, well, let's, let's do it. But yeah, let's do it. I don't even know how to quit out of the game. <laughs> uh, probably be escape or something. It's, you have to hold escape, I think. Oh, okay. We'll just do that a few times when it comes. So we're in the capital. Where's, where's that elevator go? Uh, that takes us back to, uh... Oh, to yeah. the hotel. Yeah. Because it's nice to be walking all the way back. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all good. The capital's huge. It is. It's pretty quiet. It is quiet. Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. To be your little <coughs> bitch. I'm gonna need some water. <coughs> hmm. This looks like Toriel's house. Kinda does, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks exactly like her house. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm the I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get <coughs> off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and in the hallway. There's two beds. Oh, um, here, go into your items. Let's get rid of the punch card. And let's get rid of the... Uh, boot <coughs> pan. Okay. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will no. you take it? <laughs> okay. Let's equip that locket. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. So there's two beds, but there was only one. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Huh. Interesting, because we wear a striped shirt. And the kids, the, all kids wear striped shirts. Dusty boys. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is all kids. It's a golden flower. Ooh, it's a flowery. Yeah. Oh, here. Let's equip that, um, that locket. It's gonna help us a lot. Oh, check, actually, you should, uh. 
It gives you like 90 defense, so it helps us a lot. A long time ago, a human fell into <coughs> the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Yeah, let's check the rest of the rooms. So it's like her, but like mirrored. In a way, yeah. It's a trophy. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs, 98. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, bottomed up shirts, button up. or button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a brew. There's a Santa Claus, or bureau. There's a Santa Claus <laughs> outfit in there. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. It's a king size bed. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages says it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. <laughs> oh, here, you could check on it. Despite everything, it's still you. It's yeah, you. It's, a, it's, it's Dangle. A, <laughs> you're Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and you approve this message. Ah, uh, good old paranormal activity. Again. So if you're like killing everybody, then it wouldn't you be a monster then? Because you would be killing people, not yourself. <clears throat> Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. So the king had a son. Asriel. Had. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. He likes golden flowers. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. If you want to click on some of that stuff in the kitchen. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. <laughs> some snails and tea. <laughs> there is some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Okay, are they expecting us to be The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic <laughs> instead. They actually use their stove. <laughs> it's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 2000 blank. A date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the <coughs> flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. That sucks. <coughs> Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, <coughs> screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But... 
<laughs> Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. <laughs> Set the mood. <laughs> Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. He died. <laughs> yeah. Dang. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Bummer. <laughs> the king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. He will give us hope. He will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Hmm. Where to? Uh, down. And save? Here we go. This is the end? Somewhat. Oh, there's the prophecy symbol. Wait, what if we're not the prophecy? What if it was the other human? <coughs> Keep moving. Looks like sands. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. <coughs> you will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. We didn't earn any. <laughs> What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> a way of quanti quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your experience increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. <laughs> There's no E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. it's love. L O V. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, <coughs> the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. New results. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. You just kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained it. Love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. <laughs> now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have to throw in the towel by now, or I would've. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh, jeez. All right. What do we choose? Quit out of the game. 
For now what? And start back up. I. Oh, we should have. Uh, actually, no, no, no. We did it. We did it right. We did it right. Because if we saved right after that, we would have ruined it. Okay. So for the people at home, there's an Easter egg. <coughs> if you quit out of that when during the judgment, something happens, and then if you quit out again, another thing happens. <laughs> You can't be more vague. Right. You get a item. Uh-huh. And with that item, at the end of the game, your mind will be blown. I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Do we kill him? Or do we let him kill us? Or is there another way? There might be another way. Okay. Undertale. So now we save Sans. Well, and Undyne. So now we just hit continue, and now we uh, talk to Sans. Though most of the dialogue will be the same, at the end it'll be different. So um, you could skip past the first bunch. It's not there. No, no, keep going. Well, there is. Yep. (coughs) So you finally made it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll take a drink. Water. Need it. When will it be different? The very end? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yep. I want to stop. You're good. We actually need him to have the talking, like, his face out. Alright, you could probably, uh, spam it, like, for five more times, probably. Like, after he gets on talking about the king, like, what you'll do, that's when he does it. (coughs) Alright. Alright, it's gonna probably be up ahead. Okay. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. See? Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So, I know if someone tells me it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Oh wait, uh, we'll have to wait. And, uh, can you move now? Okay, then we do it again. So now... Oh, jeez. Do you you notice something, like, what I was maybe saying, hinting at? Sans no shortcuts. Sans teleporting places. He's a time traveler? Yeah. Um, Does that mean that Papyrus is too? <clears throat> One day the two skeletons came out of nowhere into the village. I'm for sure it'll come together in my head soon. Oh, it will. I'm and thinking, and at the very end of the game, it, it's going to be like... <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Knock over everything. <laughs> yeah, throw over the table. Oh, I feel so bad we're out to end this. <laughs> oh, it's cool. We could end it after um the whole sand thing.
Okay. All right. So we'll and have then to go. We'll have the final confrontation for the last episode. Right. Hopefully. I don't know if his spiel's the same. It might be until the very end. Until he's like whisper, whisper. Yeah. Well, not until whisper, whisper. Well, so he knows. He he has an idea. Think, he thinks we're time travelers. So if we say whisper, whisper, then he'll know that he had talked to us before. Yeah. So you finally made it. That was fast. Yeah, he knows. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you just say, I'm a stupid <laughs> doo-doo butt? Wow. I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infant or infantile. infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is a secret, secret code word. Ugh. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Oh, I think we actually have to do it again. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least we don't have to go through the whole thing. Again. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> No. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, you can just get right to the point now. Okay. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Gosh, take it. So you finally made it. Huh? You have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you just say I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Why would you think that was a secret code? That was a secret, secret code. Secret code word. Yeah, why would you think that was a secret, <clears throat> secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word. <laughs> You're just rolling your eyes back. <laughs> Which you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. Oh, it's that back you were talking about, huh? Mm -hmm. It's time. You learned the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. Shoot. So do we go back to that room before we continue? Yeah. So we go back. We go back to Snowden. Okay. Um, next time in on... the next episode... We'll, we'll find out the truth. Gaming, we'll find out the time-traveling truth of it all. Yeah. Should I save? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We'll mess everything up? No.